So this video, we're gonna call it the quest of the 100 pound beaver. This is a local area and the beavers are causing nothing but problems here again. They're just destroying the campground. So they've got me back in to catch some more beavers. The last time I was here, I took 16 beavers out of here, but there was one giant beaver that stayed that I could not catch really trap smart so he's still here I seen him the other night up on the shore and he is a giant and I'm pretty sure he's gonna tip the scales right around 100 pounds <clears throat> so it's gonna be the start of our quest for beaverzilla Take a little walk in here and see the destruction that they're doing in the campground. Pretty much no big trees left. This was from a couple years ago when I trapped 16 out of here, but they're still back in here chewing like crazy. Used to be all big trees all the way through. Now a lot of the campsites are completely wide open. We do have one beaver house here. And it's got rather large since I last trapped this house. beaver or something just took off see the bubbles there oh, at the very end of the feed pile oh right there just poked his head up in the ice That's a big beaver too. I don't know if that's a great big one. Actually from the last time I trapped, my stick is still right there. I had a trap right there. And I had one right in between there and somewhere is right here there was a run that came this way yeah that's a big beaver too quick shot with the 22 it'll all be over and the troublemaker will be gone but where I'm at, it's only trapping only, no shooting. Oh, that might be him. That is him. Whichever beaver that is, that's a big one too. But that other one, it was down on the shore the other night and it was absolutely ginormous. It didn't even look like a beaver. It actually looked like two beavers, a big one and a little one together. And then it kind of stretched its neck out and then it was just almost unbelievable how big it was. And then it went into the water and then it swam up on the other shore and I was up close to it and it was absolutely giant. I've caught some pretty big beavers. I've got 
80 pounders, 90 pounders. Many, many years ago, I got one that was 102. Like this guy here right now, his head's like the size of an ice cream pail sticking out of the water there. But I was really hoping that the ice would have been gone out of here a little bit more. And I bring the canoe in and I could trap the other shore. Trap the other shore, then I don't have to worry about people. Messing with my traps or stuff being stalled. But I have a little while. Oh, there he went. I think that might have been him. There's bubbles are coming right back towards us. At the very end of the feed piles, the bubbles. Oh, here he's coming. Well, that beaver just went back in. Now, that runs right there under that mess. I don't know if the water's deep enough right out there that I could throw some weights in there and then I could set a, a foothold trap there and then he'd jump in and go down the slide wire. Well, I'll take you around up and we'll go have a look at uh, some other destruction they had done. All the way through here used to be all big trees. There's a campsite right there that you couldn't even see from here. They got her leveled right out. They even started putting wire around the trees so the beavers wouldn't chew them, but they seemed to rip right through. They can sure make a mess in a short time. some of their fresh workings.
Well, we're down at the other end here. That just goes out into a little bay out there. But there's this other beaver house here. The other night when I was here, the beaver was on the shore over here, sitting up there, the big one. But this old beaver house here, I don't know if anything's even living in it or if it's active anymore. Quite the nice slide going up there. Oh, I want a rabbit. Well, they packed fresh mud on here last year. It'd be nice to uh, be able to use my canoe in here and set everything on the other shore. Let's go down here and have a look. See, I did trap this once before and right here, was a nice run. Still feels really hard down there. So yeah, there's a nice run that goes up in there. We will put a trap in there. And then I did go over here before and I did use a foothold on a drowner but the water is about three feet low now the when i actually i truthfully think that i had my trap last time right up here somewhere and the water was up past there yeah so there's one more beaver house and then at the far end to the east, there's was two more beaver houses, but I can see one and the grass is all grown up on it. So that one's non-active. And then there's one even out further, but I can't see it from where I'm at. So let's stay tuned. The quest of the hundred pounder. Some of the local wildlife. Bull moose.
either has some ticks on his shoulder that he's been just rubbing at or he's just shedding. I just thought I'd share the moose with you.